Chapter 3 More in HTML Central Idea Creating HTML files in Notepad Define tag, elements, attributes Empty element, container element, HTML attribute Structure of HTML document Insert image Insert hyperlink Creating table List tags OL and UL Introduction HTML was invented by British physicist Tim Berners-Lee in 1990. There are at least 1.2 billion websites in the world today and practically all of these websites use HTML in one way or the other. Today HTML5 is the standard version and it is supported by all modern web browsers. Let's revise what you have done in previous class. What is HTML? HTML is not a programming language. It is a markup language. It is a computer language for creating websites and web applications. Hypertext markup language HTML is the tool that is used in creating internet web pages. When using HTML a block of text is surrounded with tags that indicate to an internet browser how the text should appear. HTML uses predefined tags. There are many HTML editors. Some are given below. HTML kit, coffee cup, composer, notepad, Bluefish, Adobe Dreamweaver. Creating HTML files in Notepad. Step 1. Open Notepad. Start. Programs. Accessories. Notepad. Step 2. Start writing your HTML code. Step 3. Save the file in specified directory and name the file with extension as .html example home.html Step 4 To display the web page, open the web browser, click file and then click open. Structure of HTML document all HTML documents have at least three parts. HTML, closed HTML. It identifies that this document is an HTML document. Head, closed head. This tag represents the document's header, which can keep other HTML tags like title, it does not affect the appearance of the document in the browser window. Title Closed Title The title tag is used inside the head tag to mention the document title. Body Closed Body This tag contains the main contents of the document and keeps other HTML tags like P, BR, HR, etc. HTML tags HTML tags are used to mark up HTML elements and are surrounded by the two angle brackets. HTML elements The HTML element begins with a start tag and ending tag. Contents of HTML element HTML elements are of two types. Container elements 
continuous elements having starting and ending tag. Example HTML closed HTML. Empty elements. Empty tag which have no closing tag. Example BR. Now let's learn more HTML tags used to make web pages using Notepad. HTML attributes. All HTML elements can have attributes. Attributes provide additional information about an element. Attributes appear inside the opening tag and their values specified inside quotation marks. For example, this will display the following result. Creating hyperlink. You can insert hyperlink in your web page by using a tag, also called anchor tag. The href attribute is used for the destination address. Syntax is, for example, try these. This will display the following result. Insert image. You can insert image in your web page by using img tag. The img tag is an empty tag, which means that it has no closing tag. src is a shortcut for source. This attribute is used to indicate the image location. Attribute alt is used to display text instead of image in case your browser for some reason cannot display the picture or when a user has the show image option unselected. Attribute width and height is used to specify width and height of the image. IMG SRC equal image URL and so on. Attributes list closed. Try these. This will display the following result. HTML tables. The HTML tables are created by using the table tag. The TR tag is used to create table rows. And TD tag is used to create data cells. The elements under TD are left aligned by default. Table heading can be defined by using th tag and the border is an attribute is used to put a border across all the cells. For example, this will produce the following result. Try these. Output is cell padding and Cell spacing attributes of table. There are two attributes called cell padding and cell spacing used in HTML table. The cell spacing attribute defines space between table cells while cell padding represents the distance between cell borders and the content within a cell. Try these. Output is HTML list. HTML list help us to organize the data on the web page in an ordered manner. HTML list support two types of list. They are UL and unordered list. This will list items using plain bullets. OL an ordered list. This will use different numbers to list your items. HTML unordered lists. An unordered list starts with the UL tag. Each list items start with the LI tag. Each item in the list is marked with bullets. 
small black circles by default. List type attribute is used to define the style of the list item marker. The shape of the bullet can be a disk, a circle or a square. For example, output is Try these. Output is Ordered HTML list. An ordered HTML list starts with the OL tag. Each list item starts with the LI tag. The list items will be marked with numbers by default. For example, this will produce the following result. The type attribute of the OL tag defines the type of the list item marker. It is used for type of numbering sequence used for the list items. Type equal 1, the list items will be numbered with numbers, default. Type equal A, the list items will be numbered with uppercase letters. Type equal A, the list items will be numbered with lowercase letters. Type equal I, the list items will be numbered with uppercase Roman numbers. Type equal I. The list items will be numbered with lowercase Roman numbers. The start attribute is used to indicate the starting number of the list. Try these. Output is 